everyone, this is Ling Qi, brush painting for beginners. Today, we're going to do a standing crane. So we've been doing some uh, bird studies and um, it's pretty easy. There's only a few strokes. And the tricky is the um, part is the um, beak. So to make things easier, I'm using Sammy size shrimp paper. Our product number is a P38. And to avoid any running, but still give you a very good variation in um, ink values. And then um, the beak, you want to look for a long, and skinny brush. So I'm using pine needle. We also have a little beak brush you can use, or everybody has the happy dot. Happy dot, the, the, the body is a little thicker, so it will be a little bit bigger beak. And then the, the neck um, and then the head, I'm going to use a flow brush. And then the um, uh, feather, and I'm using full moon. You can use large flow if you have it. And uh, so the color, we are using fast bottle ink. And have two values. One is straight dark ink and then one is diluted light ink. The color, I'm only using the uh, my eight color companion set. I just need a little bit brown and a, a, a rich red for the crown. So this is what it looks like, the finished one. So I will um, start now. So the beak, you want to do it pretty dry. Okay, follow the beak. I'm doing my eyes. I'll come coming back with a color. And then uh, now is my flow brush. Which now I'm going to do the, um, the shape of the face. So I follow the top of the beak. So I'm following the top of the head, doing my neck. And then um, I'm rinsing my brush off pretty well. So now I'm wanting to do the crown. So let's hope I can get intensive red.
Okay, and then I'm rinsing my red off. And then this time I'm um, using some light ink. And then I'm using the full moon brush. You can use large mountain horse because I want to show some texture in the feather. So. Following this, I have two tail feathers. All right, and then I'm using back on my flow brush to do the style of the The other part is connected a little bit on this side. So this is like the back leg. And following this goes a little bit here. And then in the meantime, this beak is already kind of dry. So I use a little bit orchid color to show off the beak. So this is my standing crane. And you can do it um, color something in the um, without the red crown color the body with some blue then you would have the um, uh, blue crane uh, blue eagle we'll see you next week